فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم Brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yabtali ibadah Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he test his servant bis-sara'i wal-dara Allah test you with good and Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he test you with hardship and Allah tabarak wa ta'ala test you by taking your health away from you by taking your children away from you Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he tests you by reducing your wealth all of these are tests Allah tabarak wa ta'ala also tests you by giving you wealth Allah tabarak wa ta'ala also tests you attests you by giving you children Allah tests you even with the good Allah tabarak wa ta'ala tests you why does Allah tabarak wa ta'ala do that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he mentions in many places of the Quran why he does that to his servants qala ta'ala Allah says wa balawnahum bil hasanati was sayyiati la'allahum yarji'un we have tested them with good we have tested them with hardship and suffering and pain la'allahum yarji'un so they can run back to us so they can turn back to us so they can repent and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does that Allah said in another place in the Quran we will make them taste. We will make them taste. We will make them taste. Allah Tabarak wa Taala said, "Min al adab al adna, the punishment, the hellfire, the suffering, the pain." Allah Tabarak wa Taala He says, "We will make them suffer before the bigger punishment comes to them." Dun al adab al akbar before the great punishment comes to them. Why? La Allahum yarjiun, so they can turn back to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah also says Subhanahu wa ta'ala wa laqad ahlakna ma hawlakum min al-qura wa sarrafna al-ayati la'allahum yarji'un Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he said we destroyed the villages that were around it and Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he said we diverted them from our verses la'allahum yarji'un so they can turn back to us so they can come to their senses again Allah also said Subhanahu wa ta'ala ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر بما كسبت ايدي الناس ليذيقهم بعض الذي عملوا لعلهم يرجعون the suffering the pain the hardship has become apparent on the face of this earth it has become apparent on the earth and it also has become apparent on the ocean and the sea why بما كسبت ايدي الناس because of that which the people's hands have put forward Allah says ليذيقهم so i can make them taste بعض الذي عملوا only some of that which they have done I'm only doing this to them so they can taste some of the consequences of their actions not all of their actions but some of their actions لعلهم يرجعون so they can come back to their senses so they can come back to Allah تبارك وتعالى oh brothers and sisters running back to Allah is of two types والفرار نوعان running back to Allah is of two types فرار السعداء وفرار الأشقياء the running back of the righteous people the good doers and the next one is or the second type is the running of those who are the criminals and the ones who have put forward only evil actions Allah تبارك وتعالى he tells us both of them عبد الله بن عباس when it came to the commentary of the ayah in سورة الذريات the fiftieth ayah ففروا إلى الله run back to Allah with repentance run back to Allah by asking him for forgiveness عبد الله بن عباس he said on the ayah ففروا منه إليه run from him to him سبحانه وتعالى وعملوا بطاعته and do the righteous actions and that which he has commanded you سبحانه وتعالى the running back of the righteous people is that they run from Allah to Allah سبحانه وتعالى they also come with righteous actions in obedience to him subhanahu wa ta'ala it is the one that the messenger used to do in his supplication Allahumma inni a'udhu bi ridaka min sakhatik wa bi mu'afatika min uqubatik wa a'udhu bika mink la uhsi thana'an alayk anta kama athnayt ala nafsik oh Allah I seek refuge in your anger from your pleasement and oh Allah I seek refuge in your punishment from your forgiveness O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you. La uhsi thana an alik. I cannot give you praising enough. Anta kama athnayta ala nafsik. You are praised in that which you have mentioned of yourself. 
that is enough for praise for you. So this dua, it teaches us that the messenger used to make, which is what? To run from Allah to Allah. What does it mean to run from Allah? To run out from the things that Allah has prohibited you from. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, there's the other type of those who run. Who are they? They're the criminals. They run away from Allah, but they don't run to Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. They turn their back to Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. They want to run away from death. They want, to run, they, run away, they want to run away from the punishment of the hellfire. Allah said about them, قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ ثُمَّ تُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ قُلْ Say to them, Muhammad, in al the death in which you guys are running away from, it will come your way and you will taste it and you will go through it. Then after that you will go back to the one who knows of everything. He knows the unseen, everything to him is knowledge. And he will inform you of every single thing which you have done. Allah also said about them, the wrongdoers and the criminals, the ones who run away from Allah but they don't run to him. Allah said about them, يَقُولُ الْإِنسَانُ يَوْمَئِذٍ أَيْنَ الْمَفَرُ كَلَّا لَا وَزَرُ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ يَوْمَئِذٍ الْمُسْتَقَرُ يُنَبَّأُ الْإِنسَانُ يَوْمَئِذٍ بِمَا قَدَّمَ وَأَخَّرُ بَلِ الْإِنسَانُ عَلَىٰ نَفْسِهِ بَصِيرًا وَلَوْ أَلْقَى مَعَاذِيرًا Allah said in the ayah, يَقُولُ الْإِنسَانُ The person will say, أَيْنَ الْمَفَرُ Where can I run to? He wants to run away from Allah, but he doesn't want to run to him. He wants to run away from him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the running away of the criminal, the one who, doesn't, who hasn't worked for meeting Allah. Oh my brothers and sisters, run back to Allah by coming with what? Bitawbah nasuha. By coming back with good repentance. Don't be from those who turn away from Allah. Allah wa ta'ala told us, those who turn away from Him, who do not repent, who do not run back to Him. Allah said to us, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي Those who turn away from my remembrance, فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ He is going to have a hard life. He is not going to live a good life. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, He promised that and He mentions it. In another ayah, Allah says, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنْ فَلَنُحِيَّنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا The male and the female believers, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, He said about them, who come with the Iman that was requested from them. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, He says, I will give them a good life in this world which they will live in. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He makes us from those who run from Him to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala also makes us those who do not turn away from Him and that submit to Him as a slave should do so. اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين سبحانك اللهم بحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفرك وأتوب إليك